All right, uh, we have a product sent into the channel for review. This is an Antop HD Smart Boost Pro SBS uh, SBS 611B, uh, and it's a little uh, waterproof amplifier that you can put up on your up on your roof to to uh, improve your signal reception. Compatible with all brands of outdoor non-amplified antennas. So. Let's take a look. Register now for extended warranty. HP Smart Boost Outdoor VHF UHF Preamplifier. Uh, 174 to 230 megahertz, 470 to 862 megahertz. Uh, 20 dB gain. So there you go. Gain control 0 to 15 dB. Hmm. Noise figure output level 105 des dB microvolts. 5 volts in. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's take a look at it. All right, here's the box. What else comes in? Uh, all right, so it needs power. So the way that you get power is to go up your cable. So this this box here, uh, you connect uh, this inside the house, and then you have a power adapter that you can put five volts in this thing, and it will power up your device up through the cable, if that makes sense. And then uh, this will be up on your mast somewhere. And it comes with a zip tie, so you can you can zip tie this around your around your mast. That's the way that goes. And there is uh, this is just the wall work to get your five volts for your for your power. All right, this is what we're interested in. Uh, let's open it up here. And looks like a metal metal case inside. Uh, this goes the antenna comes in here, so it's got some you can put the antenna in here. These are not going to be waterproof, so kind of have a want you want to put it on vertical so the water the water uh, the the cords will be coming in the bottom here, the coaxes. Um, oh, adjustable gains. Different gains for UHF and VHF. That's kind of nice. 5 to 20 dB of VHF and 5 to 20 dB of UHF. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, so this should just pop right out here. In fact, the whole box popped it out. Popped out. Let's do that. things here. The whole box out. There we go. So this just jams in the jams in the plastic part here. There we go. Get that out. Okay, let's zoom down into this. Uh, so here is our amplifier. And here are the two adjustments. So uh, we have the this is the output to the TV. This is the input. So the input comes in, and uh, there's a filter here and a filter here. So that splits the UHF VHF. Uh, let's see. The UHF is at the top, so UHF goes this way, and VHF goes this way. So that's what these these two filters do. And then they, these are attenuators. So you can attenuate the amount of UHF and attenuate the amount of VHF separately, but then they get recombined. So they get recombined here, and then they go through the same amplifier. So it's a two-stage amplifier. This is probably 10 dB, this is 10 dB. And so you have a total of 20 dB gain in the system, but you can lower that for the individual channels coming in. Um, 
Yeah, looks pretty straightforward. A little bit of uh, inductance there at the output. Yeah, pretty nice. Let's see if there's anything on the bottom or not. I don't think there will be. Uh, oh, the bottom's not going to come off easy. Yeah, there's not going to be anything on the bottom. It's all going to be one. It's all going to be one-sided. Looks pretty nice. Looks very RF-y inside. Um, yeah. Can we get a good look at that? All right. Should we try to test it? See if we can get some uh, get some gain out of this thing. That's a very nice construction. Uh, let's see, I'm going to have to bring power in. So I'm going to have to use their adapter. Um, five volts comes in here. And then the output to the... Yeah, let's see if we can get this measured. All right, we're going to be doing a transmission measurement. I have it sweeping between 150 megahertz and 1 gigahertz. Um, and so it has a nice flat line now, so we will disconnect the through. And we're going to connect a couple things in different ways now. Uh, this is the thing that's going to connect to the antenna, and this connects to the TV. So our TV needs to go in, needs to go in over here. Uh, let's see, TV. So, I uh, need some adapters. Let's see, where do I, where are my adapters? I've got the wrong, the wrong sex for the adapter. All right. I found some adapters that will work. Put this on here. So now we have, this is the uh, device that sends the power up the cable, but we're going to sweep through this and just see how this portion works. Cause I think maybe a trouble here. Let's take a look. No, it's okay. All right, so, um, so you can see that we're sweeping fine up to a certain point. So this only goes to 700 megahertz. So after 690 megahertz, it's no longer usable. All right, so let's go ahead and then, uh, well, we'll just keep that there. That's fine. So just be aware that this will not amplify anything above 690, 690 um, megahertz. So let's now insert the amplifier. And we can now hook this all up. Let's see. And there we go, we're getting amplification. Excellent. So I think you can see here we have our zero dB line is here. And here's plus 10. And here's, it's about plus. Right here we're getting plus 17 dB of gain and the VHF and the UHF are getting plus 17, okay? So now we're supposed to be able to change this one by the little adjustment on the front. So let's see if that works. So this is the VHF, so we'll change the VHF. That's maximum and we can, oh, there we go, we can lower it. We can lower it to 10 dB and we can lower it all the way to zero dB. So it actually goes Go from zero dB to 
plus 17 dB. And if we go over here to UHF, we can go from plus 17 all the way down to plus 5. So that one's correct, or you can believe the markings in the front, 5, 520. So that one's working fine. The other one actually goes lower. Um, and if you're interested, let's see, let's look at some markers. Uh, the VHF range seems to go from about 170 to 235. And the UHF goes be somewhere between 450 and 690. Anyway, so it tests out. Looks like it's fine. Uh, that 17 dB, this is a 75 ohm system. There may be a bit of losses between the 75 ohm and 50 ohm, although I don't think a lot in this particular type of measurement. So, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, truth in advertising, does what it does, and uh, looks like it's constructed well. So, anyway, that's my review. Okay, there we go. That was my review of this uh, waterproof. Uh, and top uh, amplifier seems to work great. Uh, this is the HD Smart Boost Pro SBS611B.